Hey, uh, Neat Zone here, um, playing my first game with this deck against an opponent in the tournament practice channel. Uh, we lost the die roll, but we have a pretty good hand, um, and we're going to keep it. Uh, okay, that's not that's a good card against us. Hit anything in our hand that he wants. Um, and he hit our Blood Scrivener. I guess he wanted to hit what we could play first. But unfortunately for him, we top decked a Grave Crawler. So it's a pretty nice top deck after getting Inquisition. He probably wouldn't have hit the Grave Crawler anyway, considering how it works. Double Inquisition, okay. I'm guessing now we probably lose the Messenger. That's what I would hit if I were my opponent. And that is what he hit, as I suspected he would. Um, all right, we will swing with our grave crawler. Opponent seems to be stuck on one mana, which is nice. Uh, we'll play our blood folk caves tapped, which obviously don't have a choice there. Next turn we'll play the death baron, and does he have a third inquisition? <laughs> wow! So he kept a one land hand because it had three inquisitions in it. But we're top decking pretty nice right after he does it. So we'll swing him for two. And then we'll play our messenger that we top decked. <laughs> yeah, he scooped. He was stuck on one land. He kept an Inquisition hand, thought it would be enough, but it wasn't. Uh, we were lucky to top deck the way we did. I don't even know what this guy's playing. There's no way to really know. Um, so I'll probably just leave my deck as is. We know he's black. We don't know much else. Um, so we'll just run it back. Alright, this is another keep. It's more the removal heavy. Um, we didn't really see what, how many creatures our opponent had, but... Uh, we still have a two drop. I mean, maybe he's just going to inquisition us on turn one again. Yep. So we'll lose our Scrivener, I'm guessing. And we top decked another Scrivener. So we've had some very good uh, top deck luck against all the inquisitions we've been facing. So you have a second inquisition again. Wow. This is pretty outrageous. <laughs> Uh, we have to hope, yeah, we did not top deck a creature that time. Our luck had to end somewhere, right? Uh, our opponents, however, does not seem to have decreased. Third Inquisition? Did he get three Inquisitions two games in a row? Because that would be pretty intense. Pretty intense. <laughs> Can't be, can't be right. Can't be a third Inquisition. Ah, okay. Um, I think we'll lose Dreadboar. We're playing a discard deck of some kind, which isn't excellent against us since we can recur many of our creatures, but we haven't drawn any of those. What was that? Shadow of Doubt. Okay. Well, we're all about drawing lands right now, which is not what we want to be doing. Thought Seize again. We'll lose a Swamp. Raven's Crime. Discard a Swamp. All right. Here's a guy who doesn't care if he's in the graveyard. But we're going to play him out there. 
we lose our terminate. I'm guessing this guy probably runs artifacts and enchantments that hurt me for not having cards in my hand. Uh, small ah, so yeah, smallpox is a problem, but we can recast our grave crawler almost no matter what. Um, so we lose our terminate. We'll sacrifice our crawler and we'll sacrifice our tap swamp. Well, unfortunately, we didn't draw a zombie. <laughs> well, would have been nice if we had, but so we're playing a pox deck. Interesting he has that. I mean, I guess it's pretty effective. All right, we have four lands again, which is enough to play basically any creature in our deck. Probably getting Ravens crimed. Oh, Liliana. Yeah, that's not good to see, especially when she makes you discard your Dread Boar. Um, we're just going to play out our Guildmate. We're probably in trouble here. He's got us locked. Oh, no. I forgot I could play my Gravecrawler from my graveyard, which was awful. Just awful. <laughs> oh. If I had, Liliana would not have had as easy of a time dealing with my Rakdos Guild Mage. I would have just sacrificed the Gravecrawler. So let's hope we draw another zombie. And we did this time. So Death Baron, followed by... Grave Crawler. It's pretty good against him, especially after I could have been severely punished for making the mistake I did last time. Yeah, we'll just lose Grave Crawler here. Recast it if we get the chance. Yeah, another Liliana. Pretty brutal. It's going to make us sacrifice our Death Baron, too. Let's hope we don't top deck a land here. We do. But we're in some trouble. But it's not trouble we can't get out of. Wonder what he's doing, delving. Ah, Tassiger. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good finisher. We'll play our Guild Mage. We'll play our Grave Crawler from our graveyard, and we'll end our turn. We're still not in awful shape. I mean, if we can draw a removal spell uh, plus swing next turn, I mean, Liliana's toast, unless he has double Liliana again. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, that's pretty good for if we draw more stuff. But what I'm tempted to do is go wide against him, swing, make a goblin here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. we got to take down that Liliana. Everyone's going to attack Liliana. And she'll be gone. We'll still be facing down a Tassiger. And if he blocks right, uh, all I'll have is a Grave Crawler after this turn. Using Tassiger's ability. Okay. We'll give him. Yeah, we'll give him Thoughtseize because. I don't really care about things like that right now. And 
then we'll end our turn. We'll let him thoughts. He's probably going to swing at us for four, and thought sees us. Using Tassiger's ability again instead. This time, we'll just give him um, Raven's Crime. Let him do what he wants against us. Yeah. I mean, it would have been nice to keep this, but it's not crucial to our survival. So we got our Death Baron. We can start bashing for more. Yeah, if he keeps just using Tassiger's ability, it's going to be a while before, before there's something that I really care if he has. <laughs> so he can have that. Ah, the Rack. I was wondering if that would show up. Yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt us. We'll just keep this land in our hand, make him force us to discard it. I mean, if he swings, we'll go to one. Swings and makes us discard, we'll go to one life. So if he has smallpox too, then we're dead. I'll give him the Inquisition again. Come on, removal spell. Not a removal spell, but... Not useless either. We can knock him to one. Oh, no we can't. We can't really, I'm just going to, I just, I can only swing at the Grave Crawler, which he'll take, which will still knock him to one. Okay, if that's what he's doing, I think we probably have the game. We'll just give him Raven's Crime back. Yeah, we got it. All right, that wasn't exactly a uh, Tier 1 deck, but it seemed like a pretty good, interesting deck. Uh, it's in the tournament practice channel anyway, so this guy may be like me, seeing how well this deck does. If he'd gotten the rack earlier, we would have been in trouble. Um, but our deck has a really good matchup against this discard deck, obviously. Uh, we have cards like Risen Executioner and Grave Crawler and Timurat, who never showed up, but... They don't really care if they're in the graveyard. Uh, I mean, we beat two Lilianas, um, and we got around Tassiger to do lethal. Uh, so that was a good first game with this deck. Um, I'm sure we'll play some other Tier 1 decks I have before in this format. Uh, on, I mean, in the tournament practice uh, uh, area on Magic Online. And uh, But this was this was definitely a good deck, an interesting deck, and we managed to beat it. So that's it's always good to win. Um, I'll post keep keep recording videos and posting them um so keep your eye out for more